We're going to take this apart today. We're going to put the new uh, connecting rod in with the new cap. We've got a new sleeve for it. We've got a new valve plate as well. And we're going to repair this and get it running again. cover off, separates into two pieces. We've got four bolts, five, six to take this off. And these are uh, either a Phillips or they're a 10. Should come out pretty easy for you. There's number five. Shop's a little messy because got a lot of projects going on and I need to get it cleaned up. So this is going to be 21 fits on there. Well, got to loosen this up so we can get the cover off. Maybe. There we go. That's off. We're going to get this tent off now. Got a little miniature dachshund running around the garage here. It's a mooser. That's what I call him. That's what we call him. His name's Moose. You want to say hey, Moose? Hey, buddy. Sit. It's not happening. So we got those off. Let's take the cover off now. off pretty easy. There's the front. That should come right off. There it is. Alright, so we've got a hex 5 that we're going to use. I believe. Hold on to the flywheel here. Up our torque a little bit and just get it loose up. It's a, uh, it's a reverse thread. Little pointer there for you. Now that, that comes out right in this order right here. I'll show you guys this. So we take, it's got four bolts right here. This is the air filter, it looks clean. So we're just gonna take this off, maybe. And 
And there you go. There's that piece. If I can show you underneath of it without losing the screws, see if I can here. There you go, the gasket is actually still on. All right, so we got the gasket right here. We're gonna make sure we take that off and put it back on the same way. I think we got a brand new one actually. And here is the valve plate. It's got your gasket right here. The gasket is broken. Here is the valve. And uh, here is our problem. I don't know what happened, but it crashed. Piece broke out of it. This is just gonna fall apart, basically. Yeah, so no good. Okay, as you can see, if I rotate this, maybe. That's all fine, we're gonna take the sleeve out. That's all that is for the sleeve, it's oil free. Now if you see in here, let's see if I can get this out. Hmm. Well let's just say you can see the problem. So we're going to go ahead and get this connecting rod out and we'll put our new one in. Alright, we're going to take this connecting rod off. There we go. Alright, we got our puller on. We're holding right in there, here, and on the other side. Now it's not the greatest, but I think it's going to be plenty enough to hold, so we'll give that a pull and see what happens. Alright, so that should be good. We got our 19 again. I'm just going to pull it off slowly, make sure it's coming off straight. And there we go. So we'll remove the 15 16th socket. I don't know if you can do this without a puller. I suppose you can. I've just got a little puller set. Maybe like 30 or $40 off of Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description just in case. Here's our connecting rod. It's exactly how it comes off. Definitely a problem. It's supposed to have a screw right in here. But that broke off along with everything else. So if you take a look, here's our bearing. Everything looks good. I think we're going to put some uh, bearing grease on that. We're not necessarily bearing grease, but we'll put some WD-40 on it just so we can get the new rod, the new connecting rod to go on there. The bearing has grease inside the sealed portion of the bearing. So everything feels to be firm. There's no play, no play in the bearing at all. It's pretty much brand new. And we'll go ahead and get that on. Here's the piston kit that I ordered in. $37 and some change. Came out to about $40. Um, I'll include that in the, in the link. Or I'll include a link below. We've got a couple gaskets right here. Does have a new uh, number four hex bolt with the nut. And the nut's gonna be, I think it's a seven millimeter. We've also got the sleeve, We've got the new connecting rod, this one says MAT1 on it, the other one says MAT3 but uh, appears to be all well, sleeve fits in, and that's what we need. for the first time yet. So we'll keep that clean. Let's go on straight.
There we go. Let's see if the motions are right. Looks good. I think I have to take out that, I think I have to take off the connecting rod cap to get this on, so let's do that. <clears throat> All right, to get it on, I had to do some WD-40. Basically got it as close as I could without ruining anything, of course. I have sprayed some WD-40 in here. Uh, you can just move it around just a tiny little bit <clears throat> and it goes in. And so now we should be good. Let's check the rotation out. Sorry about the camera. Everything looks good though. All right, I haven't run this once before, so let's see if it works. Nothing is hitting, so we'll see what happens here. Everything's tight, double checking. So what we need to do is we'll put the plastics on. If it runs good after this, I'll show you the air filter real quick. Here it is, everything looks good. Light's coming right through that. Doesn't look, doesn't look like there's a front or a back, it just goes right in. I'm assuming everybody knows that for the most part. Alright, let's see what happens here. <clears throat> 